In this video, we need to recreate the brackets, which are situated under the tunnel, which hold the gear selector mechanism. So there's a couple of ways that we can go about doing this. Um, one way would be to just um, put in a straight line uh, at these two points here where the brackets are line up. Uh, measure that distance from the opening which the gear lever comes through to that line and then that would help position them on the um, actual body or the replacement floor. So the replacement floor doesn't come with any of these, they're not on it and I'm guessing it's to do with people will mount their brackets in different ways depending on what exhaust system they, they are using uh, because from what I can see in the research, um, the exhaust for this sort of goes, comes down from the um, exhaust manifold and then it does like a loop and then it sort of comes back in here at that point towards the um, rear of the car. So I'm gonna try and just recreate these same brackets. I've got some strips of metal, which I've cut out already to the right length. I just need to get the bends put into these um, and then we can work out what the position they need to go in. Now the second way I can go about doing this, rather than just measuring based on this old floor, would be to actually install the subframe, install the gearbox um, and the housing for the clutch, um, mount that to the subframe, and then I'll be able to accurately work out the position that the gear selector needs to be. So I'll have a think about which way I want to go. Okay, so these um, brackets, I've got all the bends in there now. Um, I've, it's like if you put it side by side, it's, there's a little bit of variation, but not that much different. Just keep in mind that one is fairly bent, but that one, slight height difference, but um, it's gonna need some tinkering once it's uh, underneath the floor, just to get it, the angles correct. Um, it, and again, it doesn't need to be spot on perfect as long as it's sort of close to what that height is. And it's based on um, how everything's going to fit together anyway. So the next stage, I need to drill some holes in the top here for the support mounts. Okay, so this is the, um, the gear selector mechanism for the Moak. Um, you'll notice the difference between this and the Mini. On the Mini, this um, shaft and that shaft are obviously much longer um, because of the position where the gear stick lever comes out. On a Moak, it's sort of more forward compared to a Mini. Um, apart from that, the rest of it is the same. Um, the other difference would be this mounting bracket too. Now, on the actual mounting bracket, um, the hole on this piece is elongated, so there is room for adjustment depending on how things need to fit. So the way that that will go, um, I'll just, I won't bolt that down just yet. Um, but each of these brackets, um, I've actually checked the old piece and they do in fact, they are in fact spot welded. So there's a tack weld just there and there to get it into place and then they spot weld it. But um, I'm gonna plug weld those holes on it. Uh, so that will, when that's in the tunnel, it would be sitting there like that. And that one would go like that. All right, the other 
thing we need to consider are the captive nuts. So what I will need to do next is, I've just got a nut and bolt here. Uh, the actual captive nut needs to go on the inside like that. So what I will do is, I'll use a nut and bolt just so I can put a few tacks on the nut and get that in the right spot. Because you don't want to weld it with this in there because it may get stuck and not come out. Um, the purpose of this is just so it's um, the nut is centered based on where the hole is. Uh, I might need to put a washer on there because the thread doesn't go all the way. So that'll be the next step, just uh, welding the captive nuts. Okay, so I've decided to go to the effort of, um, uh, this is just an empty um, gearbox case, um, a few bits and pieces, just to um, put all of this together, um, and then that will sit into the subframe, so you need all this on just to um, have the mounts which connect to the subframe, and also I've bolted that on there, and that's obviously, we install it and then underneath the car I'll connect all this up so we can get the, um, the spacing correct or as close as what it should be. So these brackets, I've put some weld uh, through primer on. I'll just put them on here for now um, so you can sort of see. And then we'll have to do more adjustments, um, but I'll need to put the subframe into the car first. I think will be the easiest way because it'd be too heavy to, um, actually, I don't know, we'll, we'll wait and see. I'll get it and then I'll see, work out what would be best. Okay, because then now we can sort of work out how these need to go. Okay, so I've um, refitted the um, subframe for the front um, and also installed this um, gearbox assembly, or the casing for it anyway. Um, that's mounted to the using the mounting points on either side. And what I need to do now is just go underneath and then obviously um, fit this mechanism. We'll get this into um, its position, bolt that onto the gearbox, and then we can sort of work out the distance where that needs to go. Um, and then obviously mark the position of those and then just tack weld them in. Okay, so let's have a look and how it looks here. So those um, brackets, they sort of all fit in nicely where you'd want them to go. Um, there's no issues there, it seems to be okay. And it is in a similar sort of position, but once I uh, mark them, um, we'll be able to measure and see whether the distance, because on the old, um, the old floor, um, this, the distance from the hole on the top of the tunnel um, to where the edge of the bracket was, this little distance there was about 15 mil. So it, it may be slightly out, but that's um, not a problem because you want to do it to suit here and this installation. I'll just show you the view from the inside too. So that's sort of nicely um, centered on the hole. Okay, so both of those um, brackets are welded on now, and um, I marked up the top here the position roughly where they were level, and uh, it's a little bit less than um, 15 mil. If we can find the ruler, there it is there. That little mark is where that spot is. So if I were to just go off the old floor, it would have only been a couple of mil out, and it probably still would have been okay, because there is... Um, movement in all of this anyway to do final adjustments so um, 15 mil from that the hole here to there that's roughly where it is and that looks okay so it was a bit of an effort to put all that together and to get the gearbox casing in there but i think it's yeah, that way i sort of know that they'll be in the right spot for when everything gets assembled 
Okay, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching my videos.